The Trump presidential campaign has been under fire from various sectors, such as the White House, the Biden campaign, and Democrats due to their association with the Project 2025 platform by the Heritage Foundation. The platform, dubbed a distraction by the Trump campaign following President Biden's poor debate performance, is seen as a roadmap for a future Republican administration to revamp several aspects of the U.S. government. Despite Project 2025 launching in April 2023, it is not directly linked to Trump's campaign as claimed by his critics. In response to the criticisms, Trump campaign spokesperson Danielle Alvarez emphasized that Agenda 47 and President Trump's RNC platform are the only policies endorsed by President Trump for a second term. Alvarez accused Team Biden and the DNC of spreading lies and fear to distract from their lack of substantive policy proposals for the American people. She also referenced their previous failure to disclose Joe Biden's cognitive decline to the public, highlighting their credibility issues. Project 2025's website outlines its mission to provide a comprehensive blueprint for a conservative administration that is prepared to enact significant reforms from day one. The project focuses on four key pillars a policy agenda, personnel, training, and a 180-day playbook. Several former senior Trump administration officials are involved in Project 2025, including key figures such as Paul Danz, Russ Vaught, and John McEntee. The Democrats' response to Project 225 has been relentless, with accusations of radical agendas and dog-whistling tactics aimed at stoking fear among the electorate. Figures like Rapper Ted Lieu and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries have lambasted the project as an attempt to undermine democratic values and advance extreme policies. President Biden has amplified these criticisms on his social media platforms, labeling the policies in Project 225 as extreme and dangerous. The Biden campaign has been actively promoting the narrative that Project 2025 represents a threat to American democracy and civil liberties. They have criticized the connections between the Trump administration and the project, alleging that it was drafted by Trump's closest confidants. Biden-Harris 2024 Rapid Response Director Amar Musa went further to claim that Project 2025 was designed to grant Trump unchecked power to suppress freedoms and elevate the interests of billionaires. Despite Trump's denial of any direct involvement in Project 2025, the Biden campaign continues to scrutinize the platform's ties to the former president and its potential implications for the future of governance in the United States. They point to the Heritage Foundation's policy recommendations that were embraced by the Trump administration, suggesting a close alignment in their ideological leanings. The scrutiny faced by Project 2025 has raised questions about the transparency and accountability of political initiatives in shaping policy agendas. Critics have pointed to alternative networks like Governing for Impact, backed by liberal donors like George Soros as examples of behind-the-scenes influence on the Biden administration's policy decisions. The involvement of progressive groups like the Center for American Progress, CAP, has also come under scrutiny for their impact on federal policymaking and subsequent appointments to high-level administration roles. With the 2024 presidential election looming, the battle over competing policy visions and governing philosophies is likely to intensify. Both the Trump and Biden camps are positioning themselves to drive the narrative on what kind of future they envision for America. As the political landscape evolves, the implications of platforms like Project 2025 and their perceived impacts on governance will continue to shape the discourse leading up to the next election. In conclusion, the tensions between the Trump campaign and its critics over Project 2025 reflect broader disagreements over the direction of U.S. policy and governance. The heated rhetoric from both sides underscores the high stakes involved in shaping the country's future trajectory. As the election approaches, the clash of visions and values embodied by Project 2025 serves as a microcosm of the larger political struggle for power and control.